In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use the VLOOKUP function to look up data within a table and how you can use the FILTER function to filter out data within the table so that you can, you can find the data that you're looking for according to the criteria that is specified. So let's get started. Now let us look at this table. We want to see how we can use the VLOOKUP to find out something, some information. Right? So assuming that we have this uh, employee with the staff ID 201, okay, uh, he's subscribing to a mobile plan, plan A, and uh, these are some, he, in, in this month, he has used an extra two gigabyte of data. Okay, so we're going to use some VLOOKUP uh, formula to look up a table and extract out what are his monthly basic charges and uh, what are the extra data charges? From there, we can calculate up the total monthly charges for the whole month, right? So how can we do it? So let's look at this. If we put in this formula, equals V, V lookup, open bracket. Now lookup value, we want to refer back to the plan that the employee is subscribing, right? So in this case, it's plan A. So we just put in uh, this cell, which is B2. We look up in B2, okay? And where is the table that we want to refer from? We refer from this table, which clearly shows us individual plan, what are the basic charges and what are the extra charges per one gigabyte, okay? So we can select the whole table. Remember not to select the title of the table. You just select the data that is within the table. Okay. And because later on we're going to copy and uh, paste this formula. So we want to use absolute cell referencing for this table. So to use absolute cell referencing, we've got to add in the dollar sign. Sorry. This. Add in the dollar sign for in front of page three day and six okay so later on you will still refer back to this table the same table uh column index in this case in this case we want to look up the monthly basic charges so in this table okay this is column one the basic charges are shown in column two Okay, so in this case, our monthly basic charge is in column two. I type two. And finally, the last parameter, we can just leave it as false. Enter. It will show me that the monthly basic charge for employ this employer, employee with the mobile plan A is actually 20. I can just copy and paste this down. You can see clearly that the monthly basic charges are all shown clearly. Uh, because I have used absolute self referencing by adding the dollar sign. Okay. Uh, so it will just refer, always refer back to the same table. All right. So now let's copy and paste the formula to the other cell, which is the extra data charges because different plan to come with ex different extra data charges. Okay, so we use a VLOOKUP table also to see what are the extra charges. So in this case, um, VLOOKUP table is still referring to this mobile plan. Okay, if plan A, what, what is the extra data charges? But in this case, the extra charges is shown in column 3, which is here. Alright, so B2 remains the same. H3, J6 remains the same, but we are looking up at column 3. Enter. It tells us that for every one gigabyte, right, you have to pay five dollars extra. Okay, so I just copy and paste this down. You can see that extra data charges all come out very nicely. Finally, I want to calculate for the employee how much will he be paying for the whole month. Okay, so it goes to monthly basic charge plus, uh. We use two gig and each gig costs five dollars. So it's B two times five dollars. Okay. So it 
times E2. Enter. So his money charge is thirty dollars. You can just copy it down, and we can see the money charge for all the employees. And next, we're gonna learn how to do some simple data filtering. So, example, we have this table here with the uh, students and the different test score. And some of the students are shown as absent, and some of the students they don't have any marks. It's left blank. The test is left blank. Or right. So we want to show. Uh, we want to filter out the students who have a different, who have a particular criteria. Right. So how to go about doing it? We can click on the data label and click on filter. Okay. Let's select the range first. We want to filter this range. Okay, and we click on filter. Once you click on filter, you can see that there's a small uh, icon here okay, that shows. All right, then we want to filter. What do we want to filter? We want to filter. Um, let's say we want to filter students who have test score above 50. Okay, so we can go to number filter um, greater than 50. Immediately, you filter out all the students with test scores above 50 okay now you clear this filter to show all the data again and if i want to see the students with a uh, test score less than 20 i can apply it again less than 20. Yeah, again have four students okay with data uh, with the test less than 20. How about I want to show students who are absent? Okay, so I can go to, I can actually click, you see the list of all the data is shown here. I can just click, unclick this, select all, I just click absent. I can immediately see that there are three students who are absent. Okay, and uh, for students who have blanks for the test score, I just click blank. Just blank alone. Okay. I can see that I have five students whose test scores are blank. I hope that this helps you. We'll see you again in the next video.